Hey everyone, this is Neil from the Ski Monster in Boston going over a few ride snowboards for the 22-23 season that we decided to bring in. We've been testing these all season and all have impressed us throughout the, the different conditions we've taken them on. So we've got three different boards. They all feel a little different and are built a little different. Starting with the smoke screen on the left, this is gonna be your more traditional all mountain style board. It is a little bit directional, so you're set back just slightly with a little bit more nose in front of you, but overall still feels like a pretty traditional snowboard. It's camber underfoot for really good edge hold on harder conditions and kind of a medium flex. So nice and approachable. If you're just cruising, it can definitely turn well there. Um, but also if you get in some more technical stuff, it can handle it for sure. The bench warmer in the middle is gonna be a true twin, more of a park style board, but with the flex turned up a little bit. So. This gives you a cool option if you are taking some park laps, it feels totally at home there. If you get it on a groomer and you're riding a little faster, it still feels nice and stable where some other park boards can sometimes get a little nervous in those conditions. So I don't ride many twins these days. This was one that I could have spent as much time as I needed to on it. This thing was a ton of fun, both in the park and just riding regular trails. The Psycho Candy is gonna be a little different. This is a shorter, fatter board with a really big and wide nose shape. That is super fun in spring slush or a pow day. On a hard pack day, it's totally flat underfoot. So you still get a nice stable feeling. It's not gonna bite quite as well as the smoke screen would. Um, but for a different style board, this is a really fun board just to kind of slash around. Uh, it's a softer flex. So if you get it in good snow, it, it's a really good time there. Um, but three really solid options, a little bit different from one another, makes sense for some different riders, but all are, are nice and versatile and, and kind of crush all over the mountain. So each one of these is going to be on the SkiMonster.com for purchase or more info. All of them are really solid, so check them out there.